in this video we are going to understand about the area of a cuboid let me draw a cuboid for you now basically if you see a cuboid is something which has various faces this is the back portion which i have just drawn a cuboid basically is a sum total of the face let's say this is the face sorry okay so i have drawn it like this the second thing which is there is let's say okay let me just color this the yellow part the blue part then what you also have is one part of it is here and one side is here and then you have the back face so now the front and the back face are basically these two part which are equal right then what you have is this upper part which is nothing but a rectangle you have this part which is again a rectangle then you have the bottom portion which is again but a rectangle and then you have the last portion which is again nothing but a rectangle and these four rectangles in a cuboid are of equal length and breadth now this breadth can actually be different for different cuboids say for here basically if you look at the breadth is this this breadth or this particular portion might be bigger than this portion so in a cuboid basically the surface area as we call it is equal to sum of area of all faces which is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay let's assume for a moment that this is l and this is b okay so basically what you will have is that for this portion and the back portion the area will be equal to length into breadth plus the length into breadth okay now how about the top part let's say this is t1 and this is t2 t1 is basically this portion and t2 is the portion opposite to it here okay now for a moment assume that the length is h here and let's say this is l so this is going to be h and this is going to be l because both this portion the upper portion and the portion opposite to this which is here are equal so we get h into l this is what a rectangle plus h into l okay plus now we are left with this these two portion this and this now what will happen is that the length which is here will be the same here because if you see otherwise this will not be a cuboid if it is is something like this no if it is a cuboid then the length of this side and this side will be equal so this is l this is l and this is going to be equal to the breadth which is this side so you can write this as l into b plus l into b in fact you know i have taken l and b over here right 
So maybe what I can do is I can keep B as common and instead of H, let me use a different terminology. This is H, which is this side. So this becomes H into B. Or you can write this as 2L into B plus 2HL plus 2LB or 2 times LB plus HL plus HB. So area of a cuboid is equal to 2 times the length into breadth, the breadth into length and height into breadth. 